Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm Shannon Morris, and today I'm checking out more of your feedback and tips. Now, what are some of your favorites? Make sure to email those at the end of the show. Now, first off, Robert sent in another great tip. He said, I keep my bash history file edited to my favorite commands, options, and arguments. For example, his would be links tech accept all cookies, links underscore bookmarks dot HTML, and IRSSI taxi chat dot free node dot net. <laughs> And there's a couple of other examples that you can check out in the show notes. And of course, he can edit all of these by using his favorite text editor, which is vim.bash underscore history. So for the next terminal session, he can simply up arrow to the desired command option and his argument without having to type it all out. That's a really good one. Thank you so much. Now this next tip is from Bill. He said a couple of terminal commands to let you know what kernel and distro you are using. First off is type in uname tack r you name tack r which is going to show you the exact version of kernel that you are running so i'm running 3.2.0 tech 34 generic very interesting not really but you can also check out what distro you're running by typing in cat slash etc slash release and you can see that I'm running exact Ubuntu 12.04. I should probably update precise pangolin and a little bit more information about it, LTS. Yeah, very cool. Lots of information. Thank you very much. Now this lets you know what version of distro you are running and it's very, very nice. Now this next one comes from Mr. Protocol again. He said, I figured this would be a cool idea that you could pass along for your hack tips. I found it over at Slashdot and figured that maybe more people could get some use out of it. It's a web-based version of learning Linux the hard way with a good amount of exercises at the bottom of the page. Maybe this could be a guideline to progress in learning the basics for people. Now this list of exercises includes Vim, language settings, bash job schedulers, there's file systems and networking and performance and all sorts of information about kernels. Now you can find the link in the show notes and this is, will give you a little example of what it looks like. Let's go ahead and minimize these. So it starts you off here, Linux the hard way, and it tells you say hello to Linux, type enter, and you get this nice little bash screen and there are tons and tons of exercises. So let's click on exercise 24 for example. Go ahead and pull that up. There we go. And it gets you all sorts of networking information and exercises that you can try out. So you go through all this information and it's really like crazy amounts of man page info on here. How you should use it. Examples and a little bit of extra credit. And there are really good comments below if you have any sort of questions that you need answered as well. Very good. Thank you, Mr. Protocol. Next up is Pedro. He says, in the last episode of Hack Tips, you were explaining some keyboard shortcuts. I know one that's really helpful. Many times you're writing a long command, but you realize you have to issue another command first, so it kind of gets pretty messy. You hit enter with the partial command, issue the other, and then go up in the history, or you discard the command and then have to type it again, or even copy the command, selecting it with the mouse. And we all hate mouses. That's painful. Now the solution? Control Q. It sounds like a quick command, but it isn't. It yanks the current line, lets you issue another command, and it auto-magically, I, I love that, auto-magically, paste back the previous command on the next prompt. Now his example of this would be rm tac rf and the file, and then you hit control plus Q. Now I'm going to type in ls tac la, another line, and this should give me a list of files, and then it's supposed to magically appear, but it doesn't on my machine. Now, my question to the audience is, why do you think this does not appear on my Ubuntu 12.04 machine? Is it because of the specific type? Is it because of the terminal that I'm using, bash? Or is it another reason? Now, I wanna know what you guys think, so you can email me feedback at hack5.org or tips at hack5.org. 
Now, he also goes on to give us another shell option. He recommends ZSH. To get started, you may want to try Oh My ZSH with a link in the show notes. It's like a framework for ZSH with lots of great stuff, mainly for developers. As a simple example with ZSH, you can type RM asterisk 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 slash asterisk dot TMP. And for this example, this will delete all the temp files under the current directory and its subdirectories. With bash, you may have to pipe find into RM or something like that. Now, what do you guys think? Make sure to email me tips at hack5.org with your thoughts, or you can comment below on what you think. Be sure to check out our sister show, Hack5, for more great stuff just like this. And don't forget to check out our new show, ThreatWire, for internet privacy and security news at youtube.com slash techfeed. I'll be there reminding you to trust your technolust.